What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm missing Golden Hour by uh, just a couple miles, but uh, we got a cool video for you coming today. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Anyways, uh, this channel is focused around automotive and mostly this truck, but I'm looking to diversify. And today we're gonna be going over something that is crucial for outdoor exploration. So this truck is clearly built to, uh, you know, drive up that and I do use it for that. So I use this uh, truck to pull around my motorcycle that's in the back. And I also do a fair amount of camping. I like to do more, uh, but we do camp in it with the soft topper. And today we're gonna address something that is crucial for camping. So we got a nice truck that gets us out into cool spots when we're camping. It's getting to that time of year where it's getting a little cold. It is beautiful timing though, as we can see, but it gets a little cold these times. So with that said, camping, you know, synonymous with campfires. However, out here in Colorado, oftentimes fires are banned and it gets dry. Uh, you know, wood fires, campfires, smoke, got to lug around wood, you know, go out and chop shit down. So we got something to fix that. All right, y'all. So today we're going to be checking out the Tactical fire pit this is an ammo can fire pit and i i did unbox it and realized i should probably make a video on this so some things are not perfectly packaged but this is what you get in the uh, overland kit which is the one that i opted for doesn't come with all this comes in this bag so i got the overland kit we're going to go ahead and unbox it i believe at the time of purchase it was 229 uh, 255 all said and done with shipping so I bought this with my own money. I'm not affiliated with them, but I do want to check it out and give them a shout out. So Overland Kit comes with uh, obviously the fire pit and this bag. Let's go ahead and tear into it. All right, so all unboxed, we get the ammo can fire pit. We get a stand, we get a grill grate, we get an electric lighter, we get our hose. Uh, this is the cover for our grill and obviously the box as well box that's definitely a bag it is highly likely when you unbox yours if you get one this hose is in here along with a bag of these lava rocks like i said i, I jumped the gun i emptied the box and uh or the the rocks into the box and figured i should film it so that's we where we are at so this thing is pretty sweet uh decent size you know this is a 15 pound propane tank and uh you do have to have a big one that's the hookup on this regulator and I don't know how long it would last with a, uh, a small two pounder, but uh, yeah, dude, let's go ahead and get her set up and see how this thing rips. So the logic behind getting this was once again, you know, I usually haul around a little bit of firewood to at least get a fire going and then I'll go, you know, chop stuff down. Uh, but you're hauling around firewood. Sometimes you don't want the smoke. And the big thing on this is the grill grate. So I can put a cast iron on it, hot dogs, you know, whatever. This is, this is a little, little stove, little cooktop, got the stand. You know something easy to sit around it's gonna be sweet let's get this thing set up so first things first these lids uh do come off i don't know if i'll be able to do it one-handed but the lid does need to come off for operation let's get that done super easy just can't do it one-handed so next we are stuck with the fire pit if you want to put it on the ground go ahead if it's on a surface that you don't want getting hot the bottom of that thing is going to hit 300 degrees so we're going to put it up on the stand here next thing if it's brand new we're going to put our rocks in that helps disperse the flame uh, my logic in this setup was when the toppers on the truck and you know we got all our stuff in there i should be able to put this thing on the tailgate like this and we can sit in the truck and have a little fire on the tailgate so that's my logic obviously without all that crap in there this hose has a brass fitting in the regulator it says hand tight onto the box and obviously if you ever used a grill or I say obviously way too much. If you ever used a grill, you know how that works. So we're gonna do the rest of it right quick. Pro tip also, um, if you're a dirt bike or motorcycle rider and happens, works with propane, if uh, if your gas cans tip over all the time, you just put them in the stand upside down like I do and uh, they don't tip over. It's really handy. Anyways, uh, we got that hooked up. So we're going to put propane down here and uh, fire this thing up. Let's see, I haven't fired it up yet. All right, so uh, precarious line placement. Um, 
you can either start this thing it comes with this electric lighter or you can just light something on fire and drop it in there i think that's what i'm gonna do if i have anything in the truck <laughs> All right, so if you're doing this for realsies, you probably want to have a little bit better cable management, make sure this thing isn't going to tip over because that would be a disaster. Uh, the starting instructions, you turn your propane tank on, and then you crack the regulator while you're holding that on. Uh, I only got one hand, so we're going to make a fireball real quick, but let's go ahead and do it. If y'all have never seen any of these things before too, they're pretty sweet. Uh, they're a little, come on, focus, little electric lighters. So it won't there you go. makes a little arc there like a taser. So you know, cattle prod people, um, but it also starts fire. So let's go ahead and light this thing up and take a look. All right, so this is 100% not the recommended starting procedure, but we're going to uh, crack open the propane here. I'm going to open up that regulator and probably make a giant poof here. Maybe not, maybe more. I can hear that propane. There we go. Beauty. I'm gonna turn that thing up. Oh, holy, okay, all right. So you wanna be clear of important stuff like that, but you have this red regulator and that determines how much flame, ooh, how much flame you get. So uh, I'm gonna dial it, dial it down. Um, it is kinda aiming towards the dirt bike, which is fine. But all right, okay, that's that's super easy. Let's take a look at this flame on low setting. You can probably move these rocks around and get a better flame pattern if you are so inclined. But heat wise, I mean, it's, it's putting off it's putting off some steam here. Okay, it looks pretty sweet. And this is this is the cool part. This is one of the big reasons I went for it. I want to do that. I can put a cast iron over the top of it. You know, have this thing you know, cook on it. That's pretty sweet. I don't want that to get real hot because I'm going to put it away here. Okay. So we got a baby flame, a little baby flame going. Let's see. Let's crank this thing. Okay. So <laughs> that's not, that's nowhere close to full. So that, that's a good flame right there. Look at that. That is, I'm taking a picture of that. That's a good flame. That looks freaking sweet too. Oh, that is toasty. All right, okay. We gotta go full blast though. So probably not recommended to uh, full blast it on the back of a vehicle in a motorcycle full of gasoline, but we gotta do it for the video. So this is full blast. Oh no, okay. <laughs> dude, this is a freaking, this is a flamethrower, dude. What in the hell? All right, that thing gets freaking huge. It's just way too close to my bike. I'm turning it down. Okay, so uh, we have a flamethrower in a box on the back of my truck. Um, it's uh, okay. I like it. So right here seems to be uh, a reasonable, reasonable flame. I think we're gonna hop in and, and take a gandy. So sitting here in the work crocs, we're about two feet away i put it on manageable flame and we're feeling good i'm sitting on my my motorcycle stand here this thing is freaking sweet dude so there are no safeties on this so if i kick this thing over or someone walks by and you know hits that uh we basically just have a flamethrower on the ground so uh use precautions but i think this is going to be just perfect uh for what i was trying to do because like i said i'm i'm sitting here in the truck and you know got the topper on you know stick it out on the tailgate and we got ourselves a little fire i mean it's it's warm man so this is also you know it's not destined for the truck bed you can put it on the ground and, and sit around it um reiterating what i said it was kind of my point to have a truck bed fire and alternative to a wood fire and i mean this is one of those things you buy and you fire up and you're like, okay, that was a good purchase. That is freaking sweet. It looks cool as hell too. So just standing around this thing, I mean, it's putting out ample heat. And I reckon, you know, as the box gets hotter too, you know, you got yourself a nice heater. Uh, bought it with my own money. I'm stoked on this thing. I, I reckon the biggest drawback that I can see right now is I've been running this thing for a while. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and shut it off. 
um, and you know, make sure you shut your propane down too. I, I reckon the biggest drawback is now I'm gonna have to wait for this thing to sufficiently cool down to be able to go anywhere with it. So if you're running it like I just did, you know, out here and um, it's dinner time, now I'm gonna have to wait for this thing to cool down enough that I can touch it. But otherwise, that's that. So moving forward with this get up, um, I'm like, I'm hoping to expand the channel to somewhat of an adventure series on the dirt bike and you know the truck going off road and hopefully some camping stuff. We are in fall right now, but I'm gonna expand to that. And I figured this was a good intro into it. The Tacti Cool Fire Pits. This thing is pretty freaking sweet. Definitely check them out if you're interested. Anyways, we'll call that limited slip adventure. Uh, episode one with the old Silverado here. I always try and get you guys a good view. We're not doing this stuff in a parking lot. So uh, if y'all are interested in adventure stuff or camping or off-roading and dirt biking, please be sure to let me know. I appreciate y'all and uh, we'll see you in the next video.